All right, so today we're going to try and install our oven and maybe do our bench top or something, the sink. Not really sure, we're just going to get done what we get done, but starting with the oven. So when we built our frame, we didn't leave out the, the gap in this wall um, piece for where our oven's going to go. So now I've just got to cut out, I've squared it up, so I'm just going to cut it out with the hand saw, which I'm not confident about doing. So let's see how we go. Oh, that's not terrible. It's not good, but it's not terrible. Yay! Alright, so as per the instructions, it just wants you to put a 15 by 40 mil piece, uh, 40 mils up from the bottom of where it's got to go, uh, and 17 in. So we couldn't find 15 mil thick wood, so we've just had to stick two 8 mils together and hope that 16 mil is close enough. Okay, so what we're doing now is we've had to measure the height from where our oven needs to go down, and it's just about here. Uh, the problem is this, um, the wheel well box that we built is slanted so we can't just put something on top of it to prop it up to the height that we need so what we're doing is we're just attaching two pieces of wood between our uprights um, seven mil down from the height they need to be then we'll put seven mil ply on the top and then that will form our base for the oven Now we're going to cut our 7 mil ply. So when we put these um, 15 pieces of wood in, it made the Thetford um, oven that we bought sit out about this far. So looking at the instructions a bit closer, it's made so that this bit sits flush with the kitchen cabinet. But that means these handles then stick out another couple of centimeters past that, which we don't really want. So we've taken these pieces of wood out. So now the oven sits flush up against our frame so then our countertop will come out a little bit past that for where all the drawers were going to go and we think it'll look a lot cleaner um, we'll then put these in behind there about here just so it sticks out some and then that's what it'll screw into I'm drawing up where our sink is going to go at the moment. We've already drawn up where our oven is going to go. We were originally going to put our sink off to the side here, have bench space, and then our oven. What we've decided to do now is move the sink into the center. The reason we decided to do that was because when we built our structure underneath, we didn't realize we'd need to cut into it and it was going to be too close to this edge. So we decided to center it now. Um, so yeah, we've worked out our measurements and I'm going to draw it all up. Maybe. Beautiful. See if it fits. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Look at that.
So I was editing the video for our countertop install and I realized that we didn't really get any footage of actually putting the countertop in. So I just thought I'd do a quick little how we did it. We just put the countertop on and then measured to make sure we got two centimeters overhang and then held down on it and just screwed up through our support piece into the bench top. And then we just did that all the way around. We were originally gonna do like uh, brackets or something like that, but People just said, you know, just screw straight in through your uh, your structure, straight into the bench top should be fine. So we just ended up doing that. Look right. at our beautiful kitchen. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So we've got the kitchen counter attached. The oven and sink are just sitting in there at the moment. We'll look at securing them later. We can't secure the oven until we get a gas plumber. plumber to come and install that. So that's a little bit off, but it's sitting in there now. The sink... We'll just do next time. We've just got a silicon around it and then use the little sink installation doohickeys that come with it. <laughs> next week, we should... Oh, it's gone out of focus. Yeah. Find us. Hello. Hello. There we go. There we go. We're back. <laughs> uh, next week, we'll build the walls for the fridge mm -hmm. and get the fridge in, hopefully. What else? Shower. We have to look at doing that. Mm. We keep saying that. I swear I've said that we're going to do the shower a soon. A few times. A yeah. lot, but... We're going to start on the bed frame so that we can get the batteries and gas bottles and everything in place so that when our gas plumber comes out for the oven, he can do the, the gas bottle connections and all that as well. And yeah, so we can look at getting an electrician soon. Mm. Um, just get the sort of the, the things that we can't do out of the way. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time. Woo! See ya. See ya. Should be drilling pilot holes. Should be drilling pilot holes. We don't want no pilot holes. We too lazy for pilot holes. Glue is over there. Lazy for pilot holes. Okay, I don't want no pilot holes. Okay, I don't want no pilot holes. No, you break the thing for the pilot holes. Putting glue because we don't have pilot holes. How many times have we had to do this? Too many! Because we don't like to do pilot holes. The quickest way is the Clan Shane way. Shut up. Clan Shane. Piss me out.